You're watching Drake Queen Gaming. Enjoy the video. Hey guys and gals, now we're here from Drake Queen Gaming. It's a female on Twitter, the gaming drag today. I'm coming back at you another Let's Play episode of After Class Anders Path. So let's go ahead and jump right back into it, shall we? Alarm chain, you were up, and let's go. Alrighty. I just uh, remembered something suddenly. Fond memories of shopping with family. Huh, oh, okay. You do strike me as the, day as the daydreamer type. Yep, to a fault. Phew! Actually, do you eat dairy? I mean, regularly? Oh yeah, I love this stuff. Ah, same, it's great. Eggs too, I'm all about breakfast food. Ah, I'm the same. Heh, <laughs> so I'm not the only one struggling to find conversation. Makes me feel a little better. It's just a shame I'm afraid of preparing them myself. Don't want to ruin good ingredients and feel bad afterward. Oof, I can understand that. Hmm, I need to go check on the register now. Go ahead and look at any cheeses you might want. I'll be right back. Okay. You spend the next couple of minutes looking over sliced cheese you might want for a sandwich. It didn't take you long to pick out what you wanted. You also got some more bottled milk, some eggs, and some yogurt on a whim. It should last me a week or two. Okay, those rain clouds are coming in fast. We either need to hurry this up or put everything back and wait. Oh, okay. Honestly, I want to get this stuff home. I might come back later. Okay. Racing against the coming rain, you and Anders didn't waste time discussing what bread to take. You already had some at home, so you just got one pack of bread with a reasonable expiration date. I can just throw it in the freezer anyway. It should be fine. Alright, so let's ring you up and get you out of here. Okay. Ha, huh, I'm nervous now. Shopping shouldn't be a race. With mechanical efficiency, Anders scanned the items he could and punched in numbers for the vegetables. Once he was done, he pointed to the total price on the computer screen. You're good for that. Oh, yeah, no problem. One second. You pulled out you pulled out part of your allowance from your parents. What was left was enough for this and that, but you were glad it wasn't any more expensive all the same. This is Sorry, I didn't have anything smaller. It's not a problem, is it? Hang on. You watched as Anders bent over to grope around under the register counter. Part of you dearly wished you weren't on the other side. Once he came back up, he had one of those insulated fabric-based bags in his hand. This should help keep your groceries dry if you don't mind me adding to your change. Oh, no, not at all. Thanks, Anders. That's thoughtful of you. After putting in the new total, Anders gave you your change and made quick work of the bagging, of bagging your groceries. Thankfully, he made sure to keep the bread pack separate, so it wouldn't be crushed once you zipped up the bag. He put the receipt uh, with the bread and cracked his knuckles. I said I'd lend you my umbrella, but... Oh, don't worry about it. I wasn't expecting to get this much either. Just be careful. All right, you're set. I'd say you have about five minutes at most. Do your best. I got this, I think. As soon as you stepped outside, you saw the dark rain clouds looming over you. The way, was, the, way, the way you frantically ran to school today felt especially weird to you in hindsight, contrasted with how you had to turn, how you had to run with a clear purpose. But that didn't matter right now. God, Anders wasn't kidding. Go, Walter, go! Looking around as you ran, as well as, as well as you could with groceries in tow, you saw others around you deal with the rain. Some couples brought, their, brought out umbrellas. Others were running inside, bus, inside businesses. One guy seemed to be making a phone call to be picked up. I guess rain comes around pretty quickly in these parts. Or maybe some of these people are like me and just miss the forecast. Heh. <laughs> uh, God, not again! As much as you tried to take Coach Gill's cardio advice to heart, you still found yourself nearly out of breath. <sighs> maybe I really am out of shape. Huh. 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 This isn't the time to... To th be thinking about that. I just hope I don't run nearly run over Lars again. Actually, I don't see him. Suddenly, you felt stray raindrops falling on your ears. Picturing Lars out in the rain for some reason reminds you of the conversation he and Coach Gill had yesterday. It left you feeling uneasy. I hope he got out of the rain. Ha! 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 Made it! You put your bags down while under the eaves of the house and took a moment to catch your breath. Fuck, that was rough. Ha! Huh. Too much running for one day, but everything's dry. Well, mostly. I did good. Ooh. I'd love to just sink into this couch and sleep for 1,000 years right now. But that can wait. Gotta put my hard-won goods away. After putting your new bread next to your less new bread and putting the eggs next to them, you took a moment to figure out where to put your most perishable groceries. 
Let's see, a drawer for crispness and a drawer for retaining moisture, it looks like. It, I never really learned this stuff at home. Thinking back on it, it's kind of embarrassing. Ah, well, it's not like it's hard. Veggies are crisp, cheese is moist. You put away your groceries, satisfied they would last you for a while. Even as clumsy as I am, I can cook an egg, thankfully. With what I have, I should be able to make something good. Let's see. You looked up simple recipes with the ingredients you had on hand. Ooh, fried egg sandwich. Don't think I've had that one before. I need to get acquainted with the stove anyway, so let's go with that. You took a moment to look over the recipe and got what you needed. It was simple and accessible for new cooks, read you. So the trickiest part was learning was learning the settings for this particular stove in your house. Andrew said he doesn't know how to cook either. Maybe... Maybe I could learn to cook and make something for him. God, I'm getting ahead of myself. He might not even like men. A stray blush here and there does not constitute sexual attraction. Well, let's get started anyway. You fried the eggs without any trouble. If anything, you were too careful to make sure they didn't get burnt and could have let them fry a little longer. You put the fried eggs between bread to make the sandwich and put kale on the eggs as an experiment and sat down with some ice water. All right, let's see how it turned out. You took a bite. Hmm. Bit bland, eh? I should have used a, con a condiment after all. The kale's not bad, though. Not too bitter, and the egg helps. Add some salt and pepper. Add a little salt and pepper. I'll try again some other time. Feeling the fatigue of how much of how much happened to you today, you finally planked onto the couches you richly deserved. Mm. Time to adjust and wind and take some peace and quiet and... Huh? Your foot had hit one of the boxes you had yet to put away properly. I should just deal with these and get it over with. And so you dragged yourself off your beloved couch and started sorting through your boxes, stashing ones you didn't need yet in closets and unpacking ones full of things you had meant to put in your house earlier. About half an hour had passed by the time you were done. Heh, <laughs> now more tired than ever. Huh? You checked your phone. You got a text from Anders. You got home okay. You got homo okay? <laughs> oh, I guess I made him worry. Yeah, I was just unpacking some boxes. Everything's good. Cool. Heh, <laughs> I'm flattered he was worried about me at all. It was nice to be cared about, especially since he's still working. It seemed really, really dull for him. When does your shift end? Late. Very late. Go on break once everyone's gone. Jeez, Anders works hard, doesn't he? Kind of want to keep him company, and it's not like I'm doing anything else now. Should I visit him on his break? Yeah, go visit Anders. Stupid. Is it alright if I visit you on your break? Or if you want. Nothing too exciting happening. More of the same, honestly. I don't be like that. You're fun to hang out with. Eh, Anders? Come see me in the donut shop 20 minutes from now. Right across the street from Publix. Oh, okay. I wonder what that pause was about. I'll see you there. That you will. You put away your phone and stretched your tired body. No rest for me or the bull, it seems. You waited about 15 minutes, then you made your way to the street. Right across from Publix. Ah, there it is. He should probably, he should already be inside. I'll go look. It took a moment to look around, or more accurately, smell around. The scent of glazed sugar and increasingly stale donuts left your mouth watering. Oh, I think this is a scene from, um, A Place to Call Home. At least the background might be. Looks familiar. You want a snack? Uh, it, is this a donut shop? I don't know if this is a donut shop. <laughs> ah! Uh, evening, Anders. Evening. So, do you want one or not? Oh, I, I just thought I was coming here to chat. I don't know. I did too, but you're drooling a little. It's nothing. <laughs> I, okay. I'll just get a couple of muffins. You got, you got a preference. Oh, muffins, not donuts? Muffins are more filling. They have good ones here too. Nice pick-me-ups for my breaks. Oh, uh, whatever doesn't have chocolate, whatever doesn't have chocolate on it. I'm not picky otherwise. Gotcha. Be right back. You took a seat around where Anders was hovering and took a deep breath. For as tired as you were, Anders seemed to be doing all right. Or maybe he's just always a bit low energy. You weren't sure. I wonder how the pastries are here. I wonder how the pastries are, are here. 
Anders came back with a muffin in each of his hands. The comparative size made it all the clearer to you that just how big he is. They weren't small muffins, either. Once he set yours down in front of you, you could see it wouldn't fit in your hand. Thanks for keeping me company, Walter. Oh, same. It's nice to hang out with you. I'll take your word for it on that one. And I'll just ignore that self-deprecating remark. No sense getting emotional over muffins. So, uh, do you always take your breaks here? Nope. Sometimes I just hang out in the break room. Depends. Depends on what? Mood, day of the week, appetite. Nothing important, really. I see. Okay. So, these muffins are... Mine's cranberry. Yours is dragon fruit. Oh, nice call. I always feel a little more energetic after eating dragon fruit. Maybe it's a canine thing. Cool. I'm glad I picked a good one for you. You started eating your muffin as you talked to talk with Anders. He did the same. I can't lie. Working at Bubblegum seems to be really dull. It can be. Sometimes I'm too busy to think about what work is like. <laughs> Weekends can be especially rough from what I've heard. Yeah, because everyone's stocking up. Wait. Your work weekends, too? You work weekends, too? It's possible, but not yet. Isn't that a bit much? You're already so busy with school. It would be every weekend if I get assigned to it. My schedule's open to shifting per week. It's really annoying, honestly. So, do you work this weekend? I don't think so. The full schedule goes up at the end of Friday, apparently. That's weird. Shouldn't it be at the start of each new week? It should be. But it isn't, and I just have to deal with it, I guess. If I'm off, then maybe we can get started on our project during the weekend. Oh, cool. Hopefully that's what happens. Hopefully is the word, yeah. Even if you're not, I'd like to hang out with you somehow, Anders. <laughs> Back at ya. It's not like I'm always working. We'll find time to hang out. Mm-hmm. Just hope he isn't too tired when we do meet up. Oh! Before you knew it, you had devoured your muffin entirely. It was delicious, Anders. Thanks for treating me. I'll mention it. I'll get back to work now. Take it easy tonight, yeah? Same to you. Don't overdo it. I'll try. Later. Later. Woof. Now I'm really beat for multiple reasons. Time for bed. You sighed as you saw your house coming closer. I really hope tomorrow is slower pace. Sheesh. All right, y'all. I'm actually going to pause it right there. I've got a little date night in VR. Thank y'all so much for watching. I love you all, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye-bye.